Welcome to Major Forms, brand new application called Vacation Journal, and I'm going to spend uh, some time in this video explaining to you uh, how this application works. Uh, the first thing you're seeing is um, the slide screenshot uh, of what comes up on your uh, smartphone when you first open Vacation Journal. Now, I've created a trip already vacation to Orlando and you can uh, see that vacation right down here it gives you an idea of what you can do with this if you want to start a new vacation then you simply come up here and you click this button uh, which says add new trip and if you click that button then you're gonna come over here to the screenshot number two which I've listed and that will allow you to populate all the information about uh, the vacation journal for the new trip. Uh, let's go back though to screen uh, one first. I want to briefly mention some things down here and that is that you can uh, from this opening screen you can take a photo, uh, you can quit, and you can also uh, sync or uh, synchronize your data with our website and um, <coughs> that synchronization uh, will allow you to permanently store your data. Uh, a lot more about that later on. Now let's uh, quickly go over to the uh, second screenshot here because I, I want to show you some special things. Uh, you would go ahead and fill in the name of the vacation. One of the ways I like to do that is just use the little uh, recorder button. Uh, instead of having to type you can just speak the name of the vacation uh, and the speech recognition will will pick that right up. Uh, you may have to edit it later on, but you can do that off of our website when you get back from your vacation. If you have any questions whatsoever about how anything works, you can always press these little question mark buttons. Now, uh, what I've done is I've opened up a screenshot of uh, the question mark that I clicked right there, and it opened up this little uh, help button which uh, says list a name that distinguishes this vacation or holiday from others in the past well you you already we already have an Orlando over here on the uh, on the first um, trip so you might want to label this uh, something else and then you, you just walk through all these uh, this the second one is uh, select the the first date of your vacation uh, the second one is select the second date of your vacation um, I'm going to uh, speak about Tracker a, a little bit uh, uh, in detail, uh, but not too much. Uh, if you want to know all the details about Tracker, uh, we have a, a separate Tracker application, uh, and you can look at that video to find out more. But basically, uh, what the Tracker does is it tracks uh, your vacation. You can uh, set the tracker to do certain sequences in your vacation or uh, theoretically you could set it up uh, to, to track your uh, entire vacation. Uh, then we have uh, something down here called uh, the uh, Theodolite. Now Theodolite is also a separate application so you can learn more about the Theodolite uh, uh, from that video uh, tutorial. But I will say that by uh, pressing this button, we've thrown this in the application so that you can calculate distances to various objects. You can calculate the height uh, of various objects. So take a look at the video if you uh, want to know uh, more uh, about that. Now in the next bit of video, uh, I'm going to scroll down and show you some of the things uh, on the next screenshot uh, below here. Okay, so we've scrolled down now to the bottom part of this screen, and, and in this uh, screenshot, we're going to concentrate on these buttons down here at the bottom. The first one is this uh, participants button. Now, this enables you to add uh, all of the participants that go on your vacation. So if you're going with a bunch of friends or family, uh, you can list every one of them. Uh, let me show you some more detail here. If you if you click this button it'll take you over here to screenshot 5 and then uh, you can start recording information 
uh, on screenshot uh, in the screenshot for example the name of the person I've uh, labeled it Jack Smith here and then uh, you can take that that person's photograph uh, and also uh, you can uh, take some notes uh, maybe uh, if you're uh, taking a vacation, uh, you may want to designate yourself as the leader, or you may want to tell them, uh, oh, this is your brother. Uh, but uh, the, the key here is that it's going to uh, upload this, if you want, to our website, uh, or you can keep it on your phone. The, the main thing is it's going to document it uh, really forever. It's a, a lasting uh, um, sort of memorial to, to any vacations that you take. And... Uh, then you can, uh, and I want to emphasize this, you've, you've got to uh, click the save button uh, for any, uh, anything you do here. A and remember there's a save button over here too uh, when you're trying to uh, finish up on uh, the general items in the vacation journal. So don't forget to click those uh, save buttons or the data won't go in. Now uh, the next thing I want to uh, talk about is the country or countries visited. Uh, you're going to want to remember in the future uh, which countries you've uh, visited perhaps and you might want to have a list of them here. So if you click this particular button I'm going to swing as clear across over to here and this is screenshot number six and screenshot number six lists all the countries in the world and you can simply check mark them. Now in this case I've check marked the United States but uh, you can check mark any of the countries that you might be visiting uh, on your trip and it will store those. It's just a nice handy reference uh, to find out uh, where you've gone and then you can hit uh, any one of these buttons below OK. Doubt if you're going to want to select all but you may want to select none so that you can redo it again or uh, of course uh, cancel it. Now once you save uh, in the previous screen, you're, you're going to come to uh, this part of the vacation journal. Uh, I've, lo I've labeled it uh, Screenshot 7. It'll have the name of the vacation and the first day, se last day that you've chosen uh, and the number of tracks you have uh, within the system. Now I've gone ahead and, and recorded this vacation so that you can see what one looks like a after it's been done. Uh, now these are listed up here so so the trip right there is actually all the information that you have described about the trip in general but remember we are going to want to record individual events uh, in each trip and so you're going to want to be focusing on this tab up here if if you click that tab uh, you'll go to the next screenshot and I'll show you that in a minute. I, I want to also point out Tracker. We'll talk about Tracker uh, briefly uh, later on. And we've already talked about participants, but should you want to add another participant uh, to your vacation or you meet somebody along the way and you want to add them or go into people's houses and you want to add when they came in, uh, th then you can uh, c click that uh, particular uh, folder and uh, go ahead and add participants. So let's go back to events now and uh, click that and if, if you click that you're going to come to to this uh, screenshot which I've labeled screenshot 8. And this is a uh, as, as I said before this is a trip that uh, I've already uh, gone through. It's uh, our trip to Orlando and uh, so I'm going to uh, uh, show you how I got this uh, individual events. Each event is labeled here. Each event has its date. Uh, if you've taken a, a picture or a video or if you've recorded uh, anything um, on tape, uh, it'll have uh, that various informa information below this. Uh, it generally marks each sample if you've taken a picture with that picture and that's what you're seeing there. Uh, kind of neat information uh, that you can quickly uh, view, uh, get an overview of, um, you know, all of the information that you've recorded on each event. Now I'm going to show you the details of each event, but before I do that, I want to bring your attention down to uh, the lower part of this screen, which is right in, oops, which is right in there. And this shows you 
some quick steps to various things. Like we, we've already me mentioned theodolite, and you can take a photograph here. So you can do photographs. If you want to go to the map and see any of the events, you can click map. Uh, I'll talk more about that. And if you want to add a new event, uh, then you click that add button right there. If you want to go back, you click that one. So if you wanted to add a new event, you would click this button and you would come up to uh, this particular screenshot number nine. And what happens immediately is it takes the longitude and latitude, uh, also the altitude and an accuracy of uh, the location that you are right at that moment so that you then are documenting forever where you've taken any information on this particular event during your your vacation and then of course this can the power of this I think is that you can upload it to our website and interact with it there edit it download it to a spreadsheet uh, we'll go over that later on I've got a whole tutorial uh, on how to use our website uh, and, and if you want to change uh, at, at any time the you know longitude and latitude, you can re-click that and it'll grab another uh, location for you if you happen to move away from uh, where you started this event. And you can change the date and the time. But it'll, it'll automatically record the date and time right here. Now the, the really cool thing is that you can click this media button. And that media button will let you take uh, three different things. I'm going to show you uh, in the next screen uh, how we got uh, these uh, photos and uh, other things you can do by uh, clicking this media button. Media button is very, very important button. So I will see you in our second vacation tutorial.